Good girl. noise even for you right so I'm a bit stumped because I got all ready and I like went to go and have a shower and put Daisy in her cot and she's like settled herself to sleep um, I didn't even hear her like fuss or anything so she obviously fancied a kip um, but I've had a bit of a nightmare morning because this was supposed to be the morning where I got shit done and I was going to go to the post office and take back some returns and post a parcel from a friend but our printers run out of ink so I can't print the labels which is really annoying and then I wanted to go to Asda as well to return a return and pick up some parcels from there because it's free like delivery then and I don't have to like waste like four quid every time on delivery which is just ridiculous um but now she's fallen asleep I don't want to disturb her because we're getting the train at half 11 to go into my old work. I don't know if I've said on here actually, but I've handed in my notice at work. Um, obviously it was on maternity leave, or I am on maternity leave until the beginning of January. Um, but with Daisy's surgery next year, and then just the fact that like both kids seem really settled, I'm gonna try and make a go of it doing what I do. So like obviously like creating content, whether that's videos or on my blog or writing content for like websites and stuff. Um, Cause I'm a trained journalist and then I used to be a content lead. So I'm going in to see all of the gang at work um, and show them Daisy. Cause I've not been in because of her being poorly initially and I feel so bad. So we're taking her in today and I'm gonna have like my final meeting and then go out for lunch with Mark. And then I want to hit Primark in Manchester because why would I not but I feel like I've only got short windows of time to do stuff and now she's falling asleep I like I can't go anywhere because she needs to sleep because then she'll be in a better mood for later so I don't really know what I'm going to do now I'm going to try and ring up Asda because I swear the last day I can collect one of my parcels is today and I want to know whether or not I have to come today or if they can hold it for me until tomorrow but yeah it's not going well so far at all I hate being on hold I got through, but now I'm on hold again. Oh. So I'm in little Miss's room and she's asleep. But I'm gonna try and get her things ready to go out because if I wait until she wakes up, we might not have enough time. So I need like nappies and stuff and an outfit for her because she's falling asleep in a I mean, it's nice and warm in here, but still. Wish me luck. Well, I'm all for Christmas. All the happy smiles and the wishes. And I want it all from the lights to the mistletoe. We are here and we're just going to wait for Dada to come and help us up because we've got steps at the front of our work and there's no way I'll get her up on my own. But I'm not going to vlog while I'm in there because it's like work, isn't it? And I don't think it would be very fair. So I'll see you in a bit. Bye. Is that Dada? Is it? Yeah. Dada. <laughs> Close to you
Primark's going well, and aside from chucking me things on the floor, uh, Daisy isn't too bothered. The dream I knew. Well, I'm all for Christmas. It's a magical time full of kisses. Take a walk outside and tickle the snowman's nose. Something from the chimney Soon as you remove that snow ended up doing the Manchester Christmas Markets which is dead good fun. Went to Primark, Fat Face from Mark and Lush as well and now I'm just waiting for Mark to finish work. It's so weird being back in a place that was my life like every single day and now it's not going to be anymore. It's making me kind of emotional but I'm really glad that I came back and I will miss it a lot. It is 10 to 6 and we pretty much just got home. I've run upstairs to get changed because like, and I always used to feel like this so I used to go to work, but when I've been in the city all day, I get all like, I feel really dirty, I don't know why. I think it's just because you get like really hot, like bustling around and stuff, but I've had such a nice day. Like, it's the first time that I've switched off. Like, I worked really hard recently to get to today so I could do what I needed to do um, and like I wandered around the Christmas markets with Daisy and I hadn't even thought of doing that um, and obviously I got to see my colleagues which was really nice and my boss gave me a hug goodbye and like I am really sad because it's an end of an era but I'm really proud because it's the start of a new chapter for us as a family and I know that sounds really corny but it, it's true and I've also had a really really exciting opportunity come our way today um which I think will be more of something that I can talk about in the new year but I just can't believe that after the year we've had to be in this position now I am so so thankful and honestly while there might be like presents under the tree for me and things like that all I want is my family and like my friends and you to all have an amazing Christmas I think I just, I just want to see a lot of happy people this year. Um, I don't know why I'm getting so sentimental <laughs> in my pajamas, but there you go. I'm gonna go downstairs now and make a salad for me and Mark for tea because um, I got way in tomorrow and I had a really, really indulgent weekend, so I don't want to like take the mick too much with that. Um, and yeah, I've got like. Primark stuff to show you, so I'll do a Primark haul. I've got a Summer World update to do, Daisy's eight months in a couple of days, I'm gonna do a video for that. And then obviously I'm gonna fill in all the gaps with vlogs and things like that. So wow, I never ever thought Vlogmas would be achievable for me and I thought I'd give up. It looks like I might actually have extra videos, which is really exciting and I'm really proud that I stuck at it. I should probably go downstairs now, shouldn't I? So you were just in my cupboard while I make Daisy <laughs> some milk. It's a little bit later than normal, but she's been asleep, so hopefully she shouldn't be too bothered. Gosh, my legs are killing me after all that walking. I put like a newish pair of socks on this morning, and <laughs> when I took my boots off before, I had a massive hole in the toe, so I think I've walked my way around Manchester pretty much. 
Cheers. Easy. forgot to mention these but when we were at the Christmas market I picked up a couple of decorations because um, I think today was the last day for the ones in Manchester I'm not entirely sure but they all the market sellers were like shouting and everything was reduced so everything that I got was a pound and I only actually picked two things um, and this was a German stall, so the man that I was speaking to had a really lovely accent and he was dead friendly. Um, and I picked up this uh, little pottery bell. And then I got this little Father Christmas as well. Um, and I went to go and pay. And then he was he picked up this <laughs> next one and he was like, oh, it's for the baby. Merry Christmas. Um, at least that's what I think he said, because uh, his accent was quite strong, but he was so nice and he pointed to it. So now Daisy has this little, I want to say Christmas moose, with a little hat, and she absolutely loves it. Um, but it just really touched me, because I'll never forget that now, because um, I bought them, and I wasn't expecting to go to the Christmas markets this year, and it was really impromptu and it was just the way things worked out so now we have a little christmas moose and i need to go and put these on the tree because i can't leave them out because if bill sees them they'll suddenly become animal accessories and will end up breaking knowing him 